All right, guys, I've got this 24 inch. I don't know what that was. I got this 24 inch single that I'm working on, which I don't know if it looks very long there, but yeah, the braids and the ribbon streamers are 24 inches. So I've got these braids made. I don't know if I'm going to do any more. She wants it pretty slender. So I went in smaller than what I normally do because the girl is very petite. So, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six on there right now. I may drape, but she, you know, she wanted their names on a pretty ribbon. So I did this loop chain and I did do a video for this. So I don't know if that'll be separate or on the same thing. And I'm doing a lot of hand movements. I don't know why. Uh, here's a zigzag braid. I did a short showing me make that. And then a whip braid, which I have a ton of tutorials for that. A Mobius braid. I have a couple of tutorials for that and so does Connie. Connie's the one that taught me to make it. And then I've got a victory braid. Then a tubing chain which was one of my creations many many years ago. This is a heart one with tinsel. She actually um, requested this. She saw a mom in the same color scheme that I did in 2017 that had one like that. So she wanted that. And those are very simple and quick to make. It's very cute. It adds a little something different. I know a lot of people have used this over the years. So if you're looking for something easy and quick to make, you just need some tinsel. Well, you don't even have to have tinsel. Like you can put bows or, or bling at the bottom. She wanted the tinsel. She wanted the shiny. Uh, tubing, Chanel stems, the metallic Chanel stems, and tinsel. I've got tons of tutorials for that too. You can do circles, you can do diamonds, you can do hearts, you can do different hearts, you can do swirls. I've got several different heart ones that you can do. I have the swirls, I have more than one swirl. Uh, I don't know if I have any for like the diamonds or circles, but I think that's self-explanatory on how to do that. So if you want to know how to do that, I'll try to put a link up at the top of the video for that. Um, if not, go to my playlist. I know it's under the playlist uh, Unique Braids and Chains. So it's going to be, all of them are going to be in there. Okay, and I also did a ribbon. She wanted a ribbon with Vernon Lyons, and I actually got their logo on there. So I was happy with that. I think you guys can see that. My mannequin still has the triple on it, so I can't use it. And so I just got it clipped over here on this tin thing, and it's working perfectly right there. So I need to attach all the braids and chains. I've already got the ribbon streamers. I've got trinkets. I've got bling on there. Uh, this Mobius has a paw print ribbon, which is back here. It's like a polypropylene. Uh, I got it last year, I believe. And I don't remember which store I got it from. It was either last season or the season before. I'm not sure. So I've got glitter ribbons, but I also layered it with different size acetates too. So two of the ribbons are layered with, or one set of ribbon is layered with two ribbons. The other set is layered with three ribbons. I hope that makes sense. The uh, Victor braid has silver diamond dust, and then it's doubled up with black and burgundy. So it's a very thick, nice braid. Uh, these loops are all doubled. So her name is going to be on top of the maroon, and so I put the diamond dust on top and bottom of it. His is going to be in black, and then the diamond dust on the bottom. I always like to have an extra loop, at least one extra loop under their name, because these tend to curl under. So this way, this one is going to push this up, which is going to have the last uh, letter of his name. And then these are also doubled up. So black on the inside, burgundy on the inside, burgundy on the outside, and black on the inside. So I like to, you know, make it a little different for both their names. They're going to be on the same loop, but it's going to, it's going to uh, make it just a little bit different. So you, so it, you know, spaces out their names a little bit. Well, I mean, they're spaced out, but it'll just make it a little bit more unique for each of their names. Uh, white and burgundy on the whip braid. The white ribbon is doubled. That way it stays uh, nice and white on top of the burgundy. I did not double the burgundy. You don't have to do it on a whip braid because only the shiny side is showing, but it does make it a little bit more difficult to braid it if you double one ribbon and not the other one. And then on the zigzag, 
Again, I did diamond dust, which is a very small diamond dust. I don't remember what size it is. It's the striped diamond dust, which looks amazing on the zigzags. I've done it on multiple zigzags. Uh, burgundy, black, and the diamond dust. I So I did the diamond dust on two, on top of both ribbons of the... So I did the diamond dust on top of the black and the diamond dust on top of the burgundy, just on one side. So that's why you've got some plain showing too. If you doubled it up on both sides, then all you would have is silver with a little bit of black and burgundy underneath. And I've got multiple layers of ribbons, but I didn't make it real, real thick, trying to keep the weight down since she's petite. But I've got diamond dust. I've got Connie's favorite honeycomb. I've got the sparkling right here that Connie sent me, the smaller one. I've got flower shaped diamond mesh and silver. I've got some black diamond mesh ribbon, just the plain. I've got the rectangular and silver. I have a bell with a, she's a senior as well, so I've got a bell with a senior cap and just the same ribbons over and over. Senior trinket with bling on it a go team garland so now I just need to figure out where I want to put all the braids and yeah then I'll be there I thought about draping a braid I may still I just don't want to cover up their names I know the names were important to her and then we're gonna do quite a few custom cutouts on this one too if I remember right so let me figure out where I want everything And this is Cricut Smart Vinyl. It's the silver metallic vinyl. And that's on, an, that's on a luster ribbon. I'm pretty sure I want this one in the middle. It's, it's the heaviest to me. I attached a loop up here. It's just pink ribbon. I'll cut that off later. And that was just for hanging purposes. Nothing other than hanging. on the side and try to get it to show off the side or put it underneath somewhere. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If I put it on the side, it's going to fall in. That's why I generally put these flat ones on the edges 
because they don't fall in like that. See, whichever braids you put on first are going to be kind of in the background. Which ones you put on top are going to be more on top. I don't really want that one in the back, but this one just keeps falling behind it if I put it on behind. Okay, some braids and chains, some mums, I'll get them on there just so quickly and they'll come together so well, no issues. And then the other ones, I'm moving all around trying to get it how I like it and it just gives me a hard time. This is going to be one of those. I'm going to go ahead and attach the ribbon. I want it over there off to the side. I think it's, since it's facing that way, I think it needs to be on this side as opposed to this side. I think it looks better on that side. And I want it as close to the edge as possible. Coming up the diamond dust, I don't like that. I don't want it sticking out too far. Okay. Now it falls in. too long, so all this up here is going to get squished. See how if I put that on last, it's going to get 
more on top like that, which is what I want. Now I want it completely on top of them. That's The Vernons, the lines. <laughs> okay, I think that's how. For this, I am like a little scrap piece, and the color doesn't matter because you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm just wrapping it. I'm sorry. Just wrapping it around there. And. Some of this is actually going to be on the backer, so you shouldn't be able to see that red because that's going to be under the backer. The other day I had a stapler up here and I left it there. I wish I had kept it there though. Okay, I think that's where I wanted it, right there. Let's hope. Since it's so big and poofy, I'm going to try putting it I'm going to try putting it on first and hope that it kind of goes underneath everything, but you can still see it. And then maybe it won't swallow the other braids up. Let's hope. Let me put, put a whip on first. Long I need that. Right here. Probably put something on the bottom of that, like a pretty bow or something. I'm just going to start out with one staple just in case I need to take anything off and move it. I think that one goes all the way to the top, yeah. turns it sideways if I put it on top.
I like that you can see the burning. That's that's pretty good. The loop chain really stands out. I'm happy with that. This doesn't seem to be hiding too much, so it's standing out. This isn't covering everything up, so yeah, I'm happy. That may have needed to go up a little bit more. It can get stretched out too. Yeah, I'm happy with everything, so I'm going to really staple everything down now. right on top of that. It's getting stuck. There's some hot glue on the bottom of it. I think I'll drape anything. I don't think it needs it. And like I said, she's trying to keep the weight down, try to keep it slender, but it still has two, four, six, six braids or chains on it. Usually I do an odd number, but you know, it just works out sometimes. to cut these like you could just cut off the homecoming and put it somewhere on there and hang it you can do a whole one there's that would be two homecoming let's see I have this diamond dust Pinched it. I'm going to put glue in there. Alright, then I glued that. And I'm going to glue it to the back of this. I usually do like a glitter ribbon or something, like a regular glitter ribbon. Not I'm doubling it because if it twists and turns, I want all of the diamond dust to be shown on both sides. Pulling on one side, like I want it pulled tight. Something in there. I want it pulled tight so it's not. I don't know if do it. Feels like there's something in there. I can't find it. I 
think I'm going to have to just add a little hot glue. Okay, it's stiffer than what I wanted it, but... Okay, I'm just going to put a rhinestone right there and cover that up. Because that is going to twirl, possibly, back and forth. Okay guys, that's it for now. And Maybe I'll film some more on this one. I don't know, but that's how I attach the braids and some of the trinkets on a 24-inch single. All right, I've got two custom cutouts here. The school logo plus a paw print. So this is three layers, this is two layers. So she wanted a paw print on the bottom of the logo and we found this cute one with a heart this is a six and a half inch flower <clears throat> she saw a mom i did in 2017 and wanted something similar she wanted it more narrow <clears throat> because the girl is very petite but i did the mom backer similar where i had loops coming in and out in and out in and out and they're skinnier loops so i did that i did an updated uh, deco mesh diamond the diamond mesh it had lots of tubing on it so I did that the this one's a heart these are loops there's a heart and there is a rhinestone on that there's a little feather puff in there and she also wanted their name on a pretty ribbon so I did this loop chain and on his it's burgundy on the inside on hers it's black on the inside so I used diamond mesh at the bottom between their names and at the top I did her font well, her name in one font his name in another font so like a sports type font and hers in a prettier funky font so that is Cricut Smart Vinyl the Shimmer Vinyl Silver there's a Mobius braid with lots of layered ribbons there is bling back here there's more bling on the side. There's a homecoming garland. There's a trinket with some bling. It's a very pretty bow that I made. This is a zigzag braid by my friend TJ at TJ's Magic Touch. She created this. This has uh, diamond dust in it. Look how pretty that is. I've got a senior custom cutout. I did their name or the school name and mascot with some footballs and paw prints. There's a whip braid. There's lots of trinkets, some with bling, with bows. They want, she also wanted one of these tubing chains, so I did that. There's more bling and garland back there. There's a cowbell with a senior grad cap. And then a victory braid that has diamond dust as well. And she wanted the homecoming 2023 with a football between it custom cut belts. There's the ribbon back there. And there it is. So this is a single 24 inch skirt with quite a few custom cutouts.